Hey, what's up, guys? Nick Major here with Adobe Radio, about to hop on a Skype call with my buddy Kellen Quinn, frontman of Sleeping with Sirens. Gonna chat with him about his new EP that he's working on, as well as some new Sleeping with Sirens music that it sounds like might be on the way. And the man is acting now. You can catch him in a new TV series dropping later this year. Gonna chat about all this and more. Let's call Kellen. How are you, man? This year started off pretty normal for you. You started off touring, but now here we are weeks and weeks into quarantine. And uh, how's life been for you? Dude, it's good, man. Um, I'm glad I'm home with my family. You know, obviously, I'd love to be out on the road with the guys right now, but uh, I'm staying busy, dude. Just um, just working on other music stuff and creating from home and being a teacher for my eight-year-old daughter and <laughs> doing all that kind of stuff, dude. So what's it been like transitioning to being a stay-at-home teacher dad? Um, dude, it's fun, man. Like, uh, I try to make it as entertaining as possible. So we lose, we lose track of attention pretty quickly, but I try to make it fun. <laughs> and um, it, it's, it's kind of nice going back and learning things myself, too. So it's, it's cool to watch your, your kiddo learn how to read things and, um, you know, just get smarter and smarter every day. So it's, 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 it's a proud moment for me. That's good. So at least you're you're getting to to branch out and try some stuff that you never would have been able to do on the road, and it's just giving you more involvement in your daughter's life than uh, than you've had for quite a while. I'm yeah, sure. man. Always trying to find the positive in everything. So yeah. So so speaking of music, I've seen you making posts about working on an EP. You've been doing like a six track EP. Is that right? <clears throat> yeah. So I started a solo project called Downer Inc. And um, it's just kind of like a mix. Well, it's me and uh, Cameron Mizell who did our first couple albums he did feel and he did uh oh, wow. see um so he and i are just trading music back and forth i've got like a little microphone set up here that the uh the people at telefunken sent me and i'm just working on electronic stuff it's uh it's kind of a mix between like radio head meets crosses and um it's really cool man it's a lot of fun it's like music you can put on at night or when you're driving to it and just kind of have it in the background you know sirens is very loud and obnoxious so this is kind of the polar opposite of that it's not obnoxious but it is loud it is loud i'll <laughs> give you that but uh cameron he worked with you guys on with ears to see and uh, eyes to hear right yeah and our album feel yeah Wow, cool, because that just turned 10 years old. So that's cool that you guys are still kind of collaborating together and stuff. That's, that's, that's right. kind of actually how the conversation that initially started was with the album oh. turning 10 and us kind of reconnecting. And then, you know, I was just like, hey, since we're home, we might as well make some music. And so he started sending over some, some cool electronic shit, and I got inspired, and here we are. We're like five songs into six, so we only have one more to do. Cool, and I saw that you collaborated with the artist Eliza Grace on, uh, on one of the tracks. Yep. Yeah, so she uh, she's singing on a song called Work of Art with Me, and uh, Cameron and Eliza are together, so they're working on music at home, too, and I just figured it'd be awesome if she was able to be a part of the stuff that he and I are creating. She's got an awesome voice. So. That's, that's great. And so uh, since you're not being able to be on the road to connect with fans and to, to chat with them, I know that you've been doing this Veep stuff, which is Q&As, live streams. You've been doing some giveaways, phone calls. And you've also, in the live stream, has been given kind of a, a look at some of these new tracks, right? You, you've been playing through some of them? Yeah. So I, let, I, I did a two listen throughs of like two of the first songs that I started. And um, I'd like to perform them live at some point. But um I'm going to learn how to play some instrument stuff with it. I, it's, it's not super complicated. So I got like a mini chord coming. Um, I've got like an electric guitar and stuff. So I want to learn how to like play some of these things and actually make it a cool live experience and not just mic stand it and sing it, you know? So I want to learn how to do those. So it's been, it's been really cool, dude. Like I'm just definitely growing my horizons and becoming more involved in different sort of music things. That's great. So for those who don't know, what exactly is Veeps and how can people find you on it and uh, what are you doing on it? Yeah, so Veeps is something that Benji and Joel kind of got involved in, my managers, and it's a online uh, interactive experience for fans and artists. Um, I have like a little fan subscription thing where I send lyrics or I send video messages or text messages to to people at home in quarantine. And then also I've done a couple, I've done one live stream so far where um, it's kind of like going to a concert, you know, like I know that some artists like Benji and Joel themselves did an acoustic performance, 
And yeah. um, mine was kind of like a Q&A listen through of a couple new songs. So there's a lot of really interesting things that they're doing with the company. And you can just search up Beats or you can, they, you know, they're on Twitter at Beats um, to find out more information and what artists are actually using the platform. It's really cool, though. Cool. Now, and lastly, about the EP you're doing, would this have happened if quarantine wasn't happening right now? Or it, it was this one of the things that allowed you to kind of pursue that? You know, it, it's funny because I've been talking about doing another project for a long time. And this kind of forced my hand for sure. Um, I think that the situation is giving artists a chance to really just kind of work on their craft at home. And um, I don't know that I would have been able to work on this as diligently if I was on tour and with my band. So yeah, mm -hmm. definitely forced my hand to, to put time into it. And apart from music stuff, you've also been dabbling in the acting now. They just dropped a new trailer for Paradise City. Do you think that devil worship is real in Hollywood, like the whole black magic and all that stuff? And that's the new TV series that's coming out by uh, Ash Avildsen. This is the follow-up to his American Satan film that came out. There's a great cast in it, Andy Biersack, Bella Thorne, and actually the last uh, role of the late Cameron Boyce, which is which is wild. But uh, what was it like working on this project? I know we don't quite have a release date yet, but tell me about your experiences becoming a Brad Pitt. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm more of a Keanu Reeves, I think. Um, <laughs> Both fantastic. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, it was definitely a learning experience. It's, it's taught me a lot of respect for, I mean, I've always been into movies and I've always been into acting and I did a little bit of that in school, but to just to, to be put in, you know, in front of a camera, in front of so many amazing other actors and actresses, uh, it was a really crazy experience trying to make it seem like you're not remembering your lines and, uh, <laughs> you know, and making it seem natural. It's, it's a really, really interesting experience, and it's a lot different than learning lyrics and singing on stage. So it was really cool to see it. I spent a lot of time on set, even when I wasn't acting, uh, just watching the other actors do their thing, because it's just... It's amazing to see someone that's been doing it for years just get up there and be completely comfortable and you, like, believe them, you know? Uh, so just learning a lot. And um, my character, Ralphie, is somewhat of an assistant, so I'm getting yelled at constantly on the phone. I, I was telling Ash, I'm like, I think it'd be funny if I just always have a phone scene because most of the scenes are me either getting yelled at on a landline or on a cell phone <laughs> or on a pay phone. I'm just the phone guy. And the, it makes sense. You're an assistant. You, you've always got to be taking taking the phone call. So while we're talking about movies and TV shows, you've been watching any movies and shows while uh, in this downtime at home? Yeah, so my wife and I finished Ozark, which is, which is a good time. Um, and then we're re-watching Sons of Anarchy right now. And I've been watching the Michael Jordan documentary. I watched the Beastie Boys documentary the other day. Cool. Um, I heard that was great. Oh, it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. And yeah, I mean, we watched the Tiger King thing or whatever. So I, we, we, we've been kind of keeping up on stuff, but I've been spending so much time recording music and I'm trying to do some reading and stuff like that as well. So. Cool. You're doing plenty. Did you see that Nicolas Cage has been casted as Joe Exotic in a TV series version of the Tiger King that they're doing? Yeah, that's my dude. I love Nicolas Cage. National treasure, baby. Yeah, exactly. Right. He set the bar high there and nobody can beat that. <laughs> So back in April, Jack, he shared a clip on Twitter of a pretty heavy song. So um, we're in the process of getting ready to put out a deluxe reissue of How It Feels To Be Lost, which will include three acoustic versions of songs on that album and a new single called Talking To Myself. Uh, which is the clip that he showed on uh, Instagram and Twitter. We also just recorded another single that um, he tracked some music to, and I sent vocals back to that's pretty heavy as well. Cool. I was I was talking with uh, Matty Mullins a few days ago, and he said that the way that they that he writes uh, a lot of the times with Kellen is that they have just always passed stuff back and forward to each other. Is that kind of similar, an approach that you guys have taken before? Uh, not for Sirens. I mean, me and Jack really like to be in the studio with our producer, uh, we like to have Nick there and then usually Justin and um, our drummer, Matty, will come in and kind of knock things out towards the end, the rhythm section area. Because you can program MIDI drums and stuff. So we'll, we'll build all the songs and get them ready and then they'll come in and put their flair on it. So it is kind of weird for, for that instance, just because me and Jack bounce a lot of ideas off of each other and we're, we're usually there to be each other's cheerleaders. So it's been kind of strange in that way, but... You know, I, I trust him as a guitar player. He trusts me as a as a singer songwriter. So, 
the song that you sent over the other day, it was great and it turned out really, really awesome. But hopefully we can get back into a studio at least. Uh, maybe they'll lighten up some of those restrictions. So the rest of the year, the music world is so just uncertain in regards to touring, in regards to everything. What are your plans? Do you have plans for the the rest of the year to keep busy to, if, if stuff does start touring again, which it doesn't look like it might be? Yeah, I think that, you know, like I was saying, I'm going to learn how to play some of these instruments so that I can go up on stage and kind of be well-rounded in that area. Um, probably take a couple weeks off and then maybe start working on some some different music with Cameron uh, for like another EP for Downer and then just keep working on Siren singles. So as Jack has music, he'll send it my way and we'll just keep working on it and staying busy at home. Cool. Yeah, we'll see how it goes, but it's just crazy. What a world we live in. What a world. What a time to be alive because uh, yeah. just nothing we could have ever uh, expected to happen. How about you? You doing good over there? I'm doing good. I'm going stir crazy. I built a little studio in my bedroom so I can just talk awesome. with people. So I'm uh, glad that you were able to hop on and talk because I, I never expected that this would last this long. So it's... Yeah, no kidding. I don't think we... I, yeah, it's, it's becoming like a weird new normal, isn't it? Yeah, and I, I think last time I saw you very briefly, if you remember, was just out at Emo Night in L.A. for like two seconds. I saw oh, you. Yeah. We, but I, I'm looking forward to getting back to stuff like that because it's I just miss being around people and friends. Isn't it weird? Like you, uh, you sometimes take that for granted. You're like, oh, I wish I could just go home and just exist in a cave. Exactly. And then when that happens, you're like, I miss people. Bizarre. Yeah. So never again will I take being out with people <laughs> for granted because I know what it's like to be stuck at home. And uh, I don't know if there's anything else that you want to mention that you're working on, but I think we covered a good amount of ground. I think we covered a, a, a large portion. Nick, you're the best. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to see you again at Emo Night when all this stuff opens back up. Yes, go keep on being a teacher until then. And uh, I look forward to hearing the new music and seeing your beautiful face in person. Love you, bro. Take it easy. Love you. Glad you're healthy. <laughs> Bye. Okay, everybody, I hope that you enjoyed my chat that I literally just wrapped up with Kellen Quinn of Sleepy With Sirens. If you did like it, be sure to give the video a like and a comment. Tag a friend who likes Kellen as well. I thought that that was a, uh, a great chat. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Nick underscore Major. And, of course, follow Adobe Radio to be up to date with all the latest news, music, interviews, updates, and more from your favorite artists. And, in the meantime, keep those hands clean, keep your mouth covered, your mouth covered, your nose covered. I almost did this all in one second. I screwed it up, but I'm going to keep going with it anyway. Take care.